In this video, we're going to learn how to ingest data from Red Panda into ClickHouse using ClickHouse's Kafka engine. So Red Panda is a streaming data platform written in C++ that's compatible with Apache Kafka's protocols. So we're just gonna come over here and you can see this is the Red Panda UI. Uh, so this is an overview of just a, a single node cluster running on my machine. And if we click on the topics, tab on the left hand side you can see we get uh, through to here uh, and at the moment there are no topics so we're going to click on the orange create topic button and we're going to create ourselves a topic called wiki events and we're going to give it five partitions and then we're going to create the topic and you can see it comes back with this confirmation now for this video we're going to be looking at the wikimedia recent changes feed so this has like a server side events stream of all the changes being done to various wikimedia properties so we're going to use the curl command just to get a stream of those changes and you can see it's sort of coming through and we'll leave it running for a few seconds and then let's let's kill it and we can see that each message it has an event an id and then data and the bit that we're interested in is data so let's update our command so that it pulls out just the lines that start with data. And so then, and then we'll run it through JQ. And there you can see this is what one of the messages that we're gonna be working with looks like. Now let's update the command to create a key value pair and then pipe it into Red Panda using KCAT. And, and if we sort of leave that running and now we'll come over to the other tab, we can then use this tool called Red Panda Keeper, so RPK, we can say RPK topic, describe, and then wiki events. And then we'll, we'll just print the partitions out and you can see it's got the, the, the amount of data, the amount of records that have been ingested into each partition. And if we give it a few seconds and run that again, you can see that the data is sort of coming in. Let's have a look at one of the uh, records in there. So we can do this using the KCAT tools. We'll call the KCAT tool in consumer mode. We'll tell it where the broker is running, the name of the topic, and we'll get just one record. And again, we'll pipe that through JQ. And you can see we've got the same sort of thing that we saw before, but now it's in Red Panda. So now let's go and have a look at that in our Red Panda UI. So we'll go back here and let's click on the wiki events topic. And you can see here, it tells us how many messages we've got, the size of the messages, the deletion, po the retention policy rather, that we've got in there. And if we click on just one of them, say the first one, you can see there we've got the value and it's got all the, the same sort of information that we've just been looking at on the terminal. Let's come back to the terminal again. And this time we're gonna launch ClickHouse Local. We'll run it in multi-line mode and we're gonna give it the, the path. We'll, we'll, we'll store the data in wiki.chdb. Once we've done that, it's gonna load up the CLI and we're gonna create a database called Wiki. Let's use that database. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna create a table called WikiQ and that's gonna more or less map the fields that we saw uh, in each red panda message. Uh, so once we've done that, we'll then come down and define an engine. Now here we need to make sure we specify Kafka, give it the, net, the location of the broker, the name of the topic, and then we're gonna just define a consumer group and then we'll tell it what e the format of each record is so it's JSON each row. Now what this is going to do is it's going to pull that data from Red Panda into ClickHouse. Um, so what we need to do next is then create a table sort of downstream and it's going to have we'll, we'll make this just have a flat structure uh, rather than uh, having that nested meta uh, structure and this one's going to be a merge tree table and we'll order it by date time. And then to connect those two things together, so the Kafka engine with the merge tree, we're gonna create ourselves a materialized view called WikiMV, and it's gonna go from WikiMV to Wiki, and then we're gonna have this select query that's effectively gonna run on all those messages that are coming in from Red Panda, and we're just gonna convert the timestamp to a date, uh, we'll pull out some values from that meta tuple, and then we'll just get back some other values as well. Uh, once we've done that, the data should now be ingesting uh, into ClickHouse. And so we can just do a quick check. How many messages have we got? So we can say from wiki, select count, uh, bracket, bracket. And we can see we've got 47,000 messages. So it's not a lot of data, but this is, this is, this is, the, this is sort of the, the speed at which data comes in from Wikimedia. Now let's have a look at a bit more interesting query. So we're going to find out um, which users post the most updates and are they bots? So let's write that query. And if we, if we run it, uh, you can see we get back, you can sort of see most of these are bots, the geograph, geograph bot, the WMR bot, even the ones that are not bots like Guron and Ethel Flayed. You're like, how, how is it? It seems unlikely that, a, that an actual person is posting 700 uh, updates in, in just, a, a, just a few minutes. Let's update that query so that we can have a little bar chart to make it easy to compare rows against each other. So we're gonna delete the limit and then we're gonna wrap our initial query 
in a CTE, so with users as, and then we'll put that all inside the brackets. And then we're gonna select the user, the bot, the updates, and then we're gonna build a little bar chart. And we'll pass in the, the updates starting from zero up to the max from the uh, max of updates from that user's CTE. And then we'll say it's 30 uh, for each one. And then again from the users table and get the top 10. And you can see now we've got quite a nice little plot uh, showing who are the, the users posting the most updates. So if you liked this video, you might also like this one up here about ClickPipes, a managed service for ClickHouse Cloud that makes it easy to load data from Apache Kafka and other data sources into ClickHouse.